Hey y'all, um, today I'm going to be painting today. Um, you can see right here I got uh, the 6x10 paintings, the little small paintings and stuff. So this here is what I'm going to be painting of and all that. So yeah, I already opened it, but uh, I didn't have scissors because I lost my scissors. So I had to use an end of a brush to uh, kind of get it off but today's gonna be my first art video so let me open this up well if I can open it up eh. it's kind of hard to get out of the bag huh I said my first my canvas is there all right yeah I can't believe this too you see how the lighting is there's another plastic over this I don't know why they do that but yeah today's gonna be a first painting so I'm today I was thinking about doing a mounting mounting mountain view a uh, mountain like painting and stuff kind of making it look pretty cool mountain painting actually you know what I just thought of something there's one only one canvas that does not have plastic art so I got lucky I just put this other one back because I don't really need it. Because uh, it's got that dang plastic art and I don't know how to get it off. So yeah, if y'all want to go follow along with my painting, make sure to have a eight by ten painting uh canvas. Uh, right. what I'm gonna do is set my canvas there. Let me move my canvas. So actually. Let me kind of move my camera down. There. I kind of have one of these tripods that has like a little crank-like ordeal thing. You can kind of turn it wherever you want to. Actually, I kind of made it. It was actually a regular tripod stand for just a average, like a regular phone. Well, then I have another tripod that goes to that real camera. So that's how I added it. First, what I need to do is get water so let me be right back and let me grab a thing of water to put the paint in and i mean to wash my paint with and i gotta have a cup somewhere actually you know what i said i didn't have scissors i do have scissors but these ain't actual scissor scissors these are for like cutting clay but i think i'll go use this cup this batman cup it used to be mine and I outgrowed it because I'm like 14 years old now. So yeah, so I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this cup. Just get the pencil out of it. All right, let me get me some water. So I'll be right. Okay, I got me some water now. So let's start painting. I got a, like a little. I'm gonna do like a little tropical scene. I'll show you the picture. I'm gonna copy. The paint because I can't really paint my own, but I want to try to paint a picture of a real picture. Try to get the camera set up. Y'all can see it better. And what I can see the little picture that I have up on my phone. Sorry about that. I'm moving stuff around. Try to get my phone set up where y'all can see it better. Well, let's just stick to how I had it today I'm in my classroom so that's why there's just like like pencils and all that in some places I'm in my classroom actually y'all you know what I might not do a tropical scene I want to do a picture of a building actually I kind of took that back a little bit I'm going to do a picture of a schoolhouse all right, here we go. First thing I need to get is let me get it real quick. Is a pencil. I need a pencil. Okay, I got me a pencil and a sharpener. Oh, I just noticed some. I can add a lot. There we go. I forgot this camera has got my phone. Well, my phone's attached to the camera. My phone's attached to the camera, but I forgot that it had this camera has a lot. <laughs> Alright, so I'm about to around with the camera a lot. Let me sharpen this pen pencil. 
almost a picture. I can't sharpen up hits a picture. All right. I probably have to lay the picture down. Let me move the cup of water over here. Okay. Let me move my easel, easel, wherever you call it, the paint easel over here. Now let me do the picture, and I'll put this on a time lapse. So, stay tuned. Okay, <clears throat> now I, you can see that uh, I done the basic look of the schoolhouse. Okay, I want to use my paint spatula to point stuff out. Alright, you can see, let me kind of zoom my camera in. Let me do camera patrolling. There we go. Try get my camera straight up a little bit. Alright, there. Alright. You probably wonder why I done this here. This here's gonna be a tree. It's gonna be all bushed out and stuff. And these little notches here are gonna be like little bushes, like little hedge hedges that's gonna be up around the front of the schoolhouse. This here is either gonna be a gym or a well, it has to be a gym because the school here. But yeah, how I done this, because there's going to be like a road here. Well, this here is either be a sidewalk or a road going up to the school. Okay. Now, let's start, like, painting and stuff. Okay. Let me, let me get my, okay. Okay. Now, I'm going to be painting it now. Alright. I'll probably do a time lapse on this too, or painting it, because it's going to take a while. But, uh. Oh, I forgot this salary has a brush to it. 
let me get the stuff set up. Okay, now I got everything set up now. Alright, first, what I'm going to do is probably paint the, uh, paint the, uh, grass, maybe. That's what I might do. Paint the grass. I might do the grass kind of like two-tone. I'll add a different other greens to it. So right now, oh, let me add the the paint thing. Oh, oops! I need to fix that ASAP. I might accidentally get the green with the yellow. That's just great. Just like that, I can wipe it off. There. Hope y'all can see that. Oh. Uh. Hold on. There y'all go. Well, water here. Alright. Now let's start. Now I'm gonna do the grass here. Like a green. Ooh, I think I got the paint too thick. Too thick. That means. I can't only recycle and stuff. This piece of plastic here will be good for uh, putting paints in. So that's what I'm do. Okay. Uh, so I got a whole thing over here that's full of paints. I show you. Okay. I got all these paints here. Excuse that bag over there, cause that's some of my uh, uh, I have a whole bag full of canvases and all different types of other paints and stuff. I got all different types of paints. I got paint here. I got paint here, but this here's glass paint. But uh, I got all this whole selection, and plus I got some paint here too. So okay, let's start. I think I might grab this kelp. Let me see if y'all can see that. Kelp. You know, Kel Kelly Green. Okay. Uh, get the Kelly Green. Let me move this paint out of the way real quick. Get this Kelly Green. Ugh. And put it right here. Right here. Ew. It's a little bit thicker than what I thought. I have to thin it down with this water. Might have put a little bit too much, but I could just make a whole different one over here. Wow, y'all can't even see it. Alright, uh, I'll put a little thing of paint here in this container and get the water and thin it. I don't use paint thinner or anything like that because it's too dangerous and too poison. So I just use water to thin it. Oh, there we go. That looks a lot better, doesn't it, y'all? I'm going to try to get some of these lines in as I can because I'm going to get gray paint and I'll kind of uh, put this in. And I'll probably have some accidents on here, like mess ups and stuff, but it be okay, I guess. Because I'm actually not really mess up that good on paintings I would barely rarely mess up on paintings only one painting I done was a tropical one and boy I said I don't, I'm not going to mess up and end up doing it but I can I'm gonna put dark colors over there and plus I'm going to put green over there anyway so yeah. All right. and putting all this here yeah this ain't just going to be just this one color green I'm going to get a darker even darker green and I'll use, I want to do all different types of greens. I'm going to use a, uh, not a fan brush, because this here is a fan brush. But I'm going to use another brush. It's a lot bigger. Well, matter of fact, i show y'all. It is right over here. This here. And what I do is I just get other color, and just get multiple colors, and I just go, and just start dabbing it on there. Ugh. 
I have to leave that sideways like that because it's going to be hard for me to get it. Kind of thin that down. Get some more paint. Put that in there. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be this all this whole process, basically. But yeah, if y'all new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment down below what y'all think about me painting and stuff. Be my first time painting on here. This this won't be one day of painting. It'll probably be two be two days because I'm a little I'm a little bit busy today. Before when I get done doing whatever, if I don't get done before then. So yeah, I'm a little more busier than just painting. Do rest of my schooling because I'm in my classroom. All uh, right. Uh, what the heck? I just fill this in. <coughs> Sorry, I'm coughing. <laughs> I got a little bit of an allergy today. I'm allergic to cats, so yeah. I think that's okay. Okay. Now I move that back. Now I show y'all. get the, the the blue make a blue sky see the difference of the water paint this here ain't water paint this is just really a real a regular ac acrylic paint now this here is like water paint this is actually the kappa paint that kid like kids use like younger kids like five to eight year olds I guess you could say but it, it's actually washable paint good that being water paint is washable so it don't stain but if I get on this here like for example I do that it probably so oh I didn't see it for example if I just do like that right there like I done up there y'all couldn't see it it probably soaking. Ooh, get back there! You saw how it was running down. I didn't catch it in time, but I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, wasn't paying attention to it. But yeah. Oh, it's still running. Eh, quit running. Eh, it's mixing. If I had the paper towels, I'll clean it off there. But I don't want to be a mud mixer. What Bob Ross says when you uh add other colors and then they don't they don't stay in one place they just start mixing <laughs> call that mud mixing instead of, instead of uh, going one color now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get white and kind of go over this kind of make it like clouds I've been painting for, since I was like six seven maybe but my little paintings I done was more like Marker drawings. I use the flat board canvases. The flat board canvases. I don't use the the deep canvases, like the real thin ones, because I get sometimes I get like soaked through it sometimes, and I'm easy to tear it. I don't know why it's a little bit easy to tear. Well, yeah, I do know because it's thin. But I just asked a stupid question. I was thinking about putting like a pine uh, pine tree over here somewhere. So I might do that. Yeah, there might be little streaks in this. Like you probably could see the streaks right through there. But yeah. See, I'm not going to care about this area so much because there's going to be a tree right here. And plus, I'm not going to care about, like, what's around, like, in this area here because there's going to be little bushes of some sort. So, I don't care if I get anything. Like, I'm not really going to put paint there. But I don't care if I do it or not because I'm going to add a tree there. Now, grab a brush from I'm trying to think what brush I'm going to use actually 
go from the paint bucket uh, here at the paint bucket I need to grab a gray that's brown I will keep that brown out though I need a gray here's a crayon crayon gray that might work that might work a crayon gray okay now I need to get this brush right here this brush right here close this here up and squirt some paint ew liquid came out of it must have demixed because this here's kind of an oily paint shake it up there we go it was kind of like, this is kind of, like of an oily paint all right now y'all probably wonder why y'all not use the same brush because I'm going to do some lighter details let me kind of like move my painting out from that crease there because I just got this uh, easel thing not too long ago this here's where the road's gonna be what I'm gonna do is kind of draw like a line maybe it's just saying a paved road maybe it's like a chat gravel have y'all if y'all if y'all ever watching this video anybody watching this video uh, know what chat is chat is a like a chalky looking rock it's real powdery like it is gravel but it's chalky and it's grayish white sometimes it's like a like an antique white kind of like a yellowish white I might need some more paint than that in this. Let's just put a little bit out. Ooh, almost, oh, I got it on the table. I thought I did. Yeah, if y'all wondering if this table's actually wood, this table ain't actually wood. <clears throat> this table has got a wrap on it. Like a plastic, papery stuff. Like, what's like, kind of like a wallpaper, kind of like. Well, basically, that's what that is, wallpaper. But it's wood-style wallpaper, barn wood. Oh, all right. That picture scare me when it kind of fell on the canvas stand, easel, where we caught it. I always call it pitched up canvas stands. I, uh, sometimes I call it easel. I just stop calling it easel and call it a uh, canvas stand. Kind of sound cheap on it. <laughs> right, this here will either be a sidewalk or a, ro a road. And see how I'm doing this? Like grass growing over the road. Or not road, but they will both. Could be a road or a sidewalk. See, this, this video is going to be pretty cool. Might be a long time to edit, but yeah. But my favorite painter to watch is Bob Ross. He's one of my favorite painters to watch. Either Bob Ross or watching like a little short YouTube videos on YouTube. With like the shorts on there. Watch that. Look how they move my camera. See the water. Right. Y'all know when I... See, even, see, when this paint here settles on the canvas right now, it's like there's, like, a storm rolling. And you see, like, the hanging clouds and stuff. If I have to go back over, that's what I might do right now. Go right back over. It's all right to use the same water because you're basically just re-wetting it. Kind of, and with that, m m me mixing that other paint with it, the oil in it will actually kind of, help it lighten it up and with it that gray being gray it will lighten it up as well so yeah 
Now you're probably thinking, why you don't just add gray? Well, if you add gray, you will definitely mess up. I definitely need to get a paper towel or a piece of paper. I'll be right back. I mean, look, I don't. There ain't no paper towel, so I'm just gonna use a rag. Yeah, and this is washable. So I have to worry about because the paint that I just used is water paint, so it'll come out easy. It plus this is microfiber, it might it come out easy, I think. There. I use that to wipe my hands on when I get paint on her. Alright. And wipe the brushes on too. Might as well do that because I have to kind of fix some places. Especially right here where that paint dripped down. It uh, kind of uh, <laughs> kind of messed it up a little bit. There. You can barely even see it now. Alright. Time for the... Let me show the paint. I mean the... Oh. What do you call that? The paint bucket. I always call it the paint bucket shelf. I do need red but I don't need this color red I need like a orangey red cuz I'm gonna do like brick look to it see I'm thinking about when I do get done with this painting probably there's another red really I I hate the color red actually y'all alright what's this color but uh, I might try actually make a model of this little school that's not green there's some of these paints I got has a has a different color bottle and I'm thinking it's the color when I open it up it's a different color than what I thought like this one's green it might be orange because there's orange on there and I think I'm thinking I'm like oh that's the same color I'm wanting no here's orange oh this ain't actual paint paint this is glow in the dark paint uh glow paint I don't know why I got that in here I might make a glow painting <laughs> I only got one thing of it though. Ooh, here's this. I might add a little bit of red to this. It is rustic peach. Rustic peach. So I might use that then. Okay. What I'm gonna do. Well, one thing, this here's never been opened. But I can just take the tap off. Oh, <gasps> ew. Ooh, it, it's just liquefied if you see that let me get it let me zoom the camera in and just it look it's oily oh that sucks that means I need to shake it up sometimes that happens y'all oh I hit the painting it didn't hurt anything. Ugh. Yeah, y'all probably thinking, what is that? That's actually paint. It is just at the top of the lid. Now watch. Did you see it pop? I popped it. Alright. I might try to get the paper off of it. Yeah. If I can use the squirter. Eh, forget about it. I'll just try to go slow. Pouring that in that. That's what I'm going to do with the corner side here. Alright, this one's oily. Super oily. It's like a... I don't know. No, I won't add this red to it. Actually, I'm going to put this red over here. Oh. Huh. Do y'all see that? I just squirted the oil out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I 
I'm not, this ain't a good day with paint today. Alright. I need to use a thin, uh, thin brush if I have one. I used to have a thin brush. Yeah, I do. Right here. Or well, it it's like a small fan brush. I need to kind of wet my hands. Even though that's kind of nasty how I just done that, but my hands are sticky. This, this paint is sticky. Even though it's oily, it's sticky. Huh. I might need to mix the oil in. Alright, now I'll shake it off and <laughs> Do like Bob Ross does. I can't even do like Bob Ross does. Shake the brush off. Alright, what I need to do is mix the colors in. I'll try to zoom in. I'll try to mix the colors in. So I need to get red is my first stop right there. Then get this brown orange. Put it kind of like a skin tone. That made like a granite like a granite red color or like a maybe a watermelon or a pink maybe maybe a watermelon pink all right there is some orange paint over here though oh that ain't orange there's orange this is tropical orange and surely goodness, it does. It's, 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 I can't even talk. Another one, you have to twist the lead off. I like doing like little. Okay, it has a bubble. Now watch this. <laughs> Oops! I hit the camera. All right, now put the orange right here. Ew. <laughs> this one's thicker. I didn't I didn't mean to say ew like a nasty ew, just like a ew like ooh, that's cool, ew. <laughs> oh, I did not even wash that brush off. Uh, I might need to put more red in this. A whole lot more red. Now put orange. This this is just an experiment on how I could get the paint to look. Now it's a peachy color now. You know what? Forget about it. That color might be for another day. Because that color is kind of annoying. So what I do is get this red, wash my my uh, spoon. No, oh my goodness, I caught a spoon. Wash my brush off, and then get this orange here. For some reason on camera it don't look orange. It looks like a peachy color. I don't know if it's just my camera not adjusting. Let me see. Yeah, it's just it all the way. I guess it's just the colors on my camera is just off the color retina. Okay, I added a, an accident with the green. It might do something. Do I have a darker red? I need a darker red. So back to the paint book, uh, paint shelf. All right, to the paint shelf now. Um, what's this? Huh. I'll have to check it up. See, some of these paints are old. It was my grandma's. She had it. She had she had it like three or three year ago. Actually, let me test this out. I don't know. I might just put it up against that. Actually, yeah, that is a darker red. 
Okay. I found it. So I take it off that camera now. Okay. You can see right here I squared it some. You can see a little bit of a difference. So that's what I might do is just add a few drops in there. And see what I can make from there. If I can make a brick red. See, I thought I had a brick color. But I don't. Unless it's in that other, unless it's in the bag over there that has the paints. Oh man, I might do a part two, part three, but I was already going to do parts of this painting. I won't be finishing it all the way on this own run video. Uh, still makes it pink. Maybe I need to do this one orange here. Alright, back to the paint shelf. Okay, here's one orange here. This is a punk, pumpkin orange. Pumpkin orange. So let's see what this one's about. Okay, pumpkin orange. Here we go. Squirt a little bit of it in it. You know what? I might as well just use that one. See how it turns out. And watch it make it even more pinker. I need to make a red though. May it needs more red. Maybe the recipe of how to make red brick color is you have to have a little bit of orange. A little bit of orange. Like a calico. Not like a calico cat, but. Oh, I think I just made it. I think I just made it. Yep, I think I made it. I think it might need a little bit more red to it. Because I might make it a little bit too more pinker. Put a little bit more in there. Can I stir it up? If I stir it up a little bit, it might look better. There. Ha <laughs> I made brick gray. Now let's go to the canvas. But yeah, um, it still looks, it don't look that well, but yeah, it don't look that good though, because it's not dark enough, so I'm, it, it might be, <clears throat> it might be, uh, okay to some of y'all, but actually I think it needs to be darker. I need it to be a brick color, so yeah, it still don't look that well. So, back to the paint camera. Oh, before I go back to the camera, let me uh, wipe that off where it dries. You better be safe and sorry. See, I kind of wiped it off before because I kind of dripped it. But my camera shut off at when I done it. So, uh, back to the back to this camera here. Okay. Go back to the I guess you say going back to the drawing board because I have to literally try out another strategy how to make oh my goodness this paint needs to be shook up like crazy the oil is separated in it Ugh. man this 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 is gonna have a lot of cuts in it Especially the little time lapse or deal. Oh, there's a bubble in it. Watch this. <laughs> I like popping bubbles. When I was little, I loved playing with bubbles. Oh, it's just the drip. Oh, no, I didn't want that much. I might have put a little bit too much. But it started went crazy coming out because it was thick. Oops. 
Well, let's see what it makes now. Seems like me making it darker, it might make it more darker brown. Might mix some of this else in here. You know what? I might add a little bit more red if that thing don't fall off. I don't want to get it on the table, but I already have got it on the table. So, so that paint will not come up. There. Oh, I'm going to have a waste a lot of paint just trying to mix the right color. I wish I was that Bob Ross and just think of a color and just get right off the bat. Oh, I wish I was like that. Now, I don't know why, it kind of looks like a purple now. It don't look brown like, like I expected it to be. That means, you know what that means? Put more red. Put a lot more red. They only bound for just a little bit of brown, not a lot. Huh. Alright, might be the time for me to go. Alright, if y'all new to this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let me show y'all. Well, I don't know. Let me show y'all the painting where y'all know that. Where I stop this at. Alright y'all. If y'all new to this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. And also I'm going to finish this paint. Alright. Bye y'all.